As far as I know, the student is always calling the person who teach them the Kung Fu as Shufu. And now, I get to know the person who imparts occupational skills or knowledge is also honored as Shufu in China. I am Anjana and come from Sri Lanka. I completed the graduation from college in 2021. I joined China National Chemical Engineering No. 14 Construction Companies Branch Office in Sri Lanka in 2022. Shortly after my joining, I was designated to the project of development and upgrading of fuel hydrant system at Bandar Nayake International Airport, Sri Lanka. Actually, it was the first time that I ever participated in a chemical engineering and construction project for the upgrading of exiting aviation refueling system. I was designated as the assistant mechanical engineer and QA QC inspector. I was a little intimidated at first. Fortunately, our company arranged an experienced engineer to guide me. And that's how I met with my Chinese shufu, Mr. Zhao. Even though the, the, the posture and the, this kind of... 安吉娜一入职，我就对她了进行相关的岗位培训。斯里兰卡在化工和其他能源建设领域有经验的焊工和工程管理人员还是比较稀缺的。像我们化工工程上普遍采用全氩弧焊和亚丁联焊焊接方法进行管道焊接，但当地会这项基础的焊工很少。但是呢，安吉娜勤奋好学，很快就掌握了亚弧焊的技术原理和管理要点。Under the guidance from Master Zhao. I had quickly learned the technique of TIG welding and the related management skills. And then I organized several trainings and quality promotion activities to local engineers and skilled workers. This is quite consistent with the Chinese mentoring, supporting and guiding. Philosophy of the relationship between the teacher and student my current monthly salary is relatively high, not only in the construction industry, but also in most of other industries considered on my age. I am now living in the dormitory which was provided free of charge by our company. So most of my salary can be remitted to my family. Actually, what matters most to me in the current stage is to acquire knowledge and accumulate experience. In this project, I can learn a lot of knowledge of cross-cultural management for overseas project and I also can get a lot of opportunities to learn knowledge regarding the execution of chemical engineering project. These opportunities is very rare in our local market. This project have also taught me on how to respect and adapt to different cultures through getting along with my Chinese colleagues on daily basis. I think it is a very crucial ability for the cross-cultural management of overseas projects. I was so lucky to meet my Chinese master as soon as I stepped into a chemical engineering project. Under Zhao's teaching, I have experienced and grew up a lot. He made me understand a truth. Everyone has to go through a process of learning and growth before achieving any success. Keep the ignorance and diligence make you unstoppable in front of the difficulties.在斯里兰卡扎根建设的五年中，我在这里收获了许多跨国友情。作为“一带一路”上的建设者，能亲眼见证并亲身参与，我倍感自豪。这些都是参与“一带一路”建设在我的人生轨迹中留下美好的印记